In my camera quality test of the S24 Ultra, I addressed how Samsung failed to deliver when it came to their promise of 10x optical zoom quality with the new 5x 50 megapixel camera that replaced the S23 Ultra's 10x camera. But does the recent February update that addresses various features on the S24 Ultra improve the zoom performance and live up to the promise of 10x optical zoom quality? Let's find out. As always, my smartphone lenses were clean for optimal results. When comparing the ultra wide angle cameras and the main 1x cameras, the images don't look too far off from each other, except the S23 Ultra seems to have adjusted for brighter highlights. The 3x cameras have similar image quality as well, with the S24 Ultra just having a slightly warmer color temperature. At 5x zoom is where the S23 Ultra has to rely on digital zoom and will obviously not live up to the S24 Ultra's new 5x camera. And the moment of truth, at 10x zoom both smartphones capture excellent images. But if we zoom in and take a closer look and despite the recent February update for the S24 Ultra, the S24 Ultra simply does not match the detail and sharpness of the S23 Ultra's 10x camera. And doing the extreme comparison at 100x digital zoom, which is pushing both smartphones to the max, we can see while both images are falling apart in terms of image quality, that the S23 Ultra does look better at super telephoto range. I did two more expert raw comparisons. In the first comparison, I disabled auto HDR on both smartphones and focused on the highlights to preserve the details in the highlights as it is easier to recover details in the shadows than in the highlights. Once applying a preset in Lightroom to open up the shadows all the way and bringing down the highlights a little bit, we can still see a very strong green noise on the S24 Ultra where the dynamic range is falling apart. And in the second comparison with Auto HDR enabled, the results are pretty much the same except the shadows appear to be a bit brighter right out of the camera. There is definitely no improvement when it comes to dynamic range on the S24 Ultra over the S23 Ultra. The S24 Ultra definitely has its improvements over the S23 Ultra, for example a better processor. But when strictly comparing photo and video capabilities, I think it's fair to say that the S23 Ultra and the S24 Ultra produce similar image quality with similar dynamic range. However, despite the S24 Ultra's recent software update, the telephoto performance of the S23 Ultra still has a slight edge over the S24 Ultra if we look very closely. But let's not forget that the S24 Ultra does also produce noticeably better low light photos at telephoto range thanks to the wider aperture of its new 5x camera. And furthermore, the S24 Ultra can also capture 8K video with its 5x camera, whereas the S23 Ultra is limited to 8K on its 1x main camera only. Now what do you think about both of these smartphones and their photo and video capabilities? 